let's discuss about um, rpm architecture so there is a, a difference between android apm architecture as well as uh, ios a very small difference okay but at high level both looks very similar so the automation code the automation code that you wanted to execute basically you write this some automation code that perform set of actions on the mobile application that is installed on a device right so you write some automation code or test scripts that will interact with the mobile application installed on a device so that's how at high level we can see the architecture but if you go inside little more deeper the test scripts basically invokes apm server the commands the commands from the test scripts first invoke the apm server and this apm server understood the requirements sorry understood the commands and executes on the mobile application all the test scripts commands first will reach us to the apm server and this apm server is responsible for executing these commands on the application installed on a device okay and it also it also does couple of other things for example for your mission there are multiple devices are connected let's say in your system apm server is installed and to the same to the same system there are multiple android devices are connected okay when you send the commands from the test script it has to execute these commands on a application installed on a device now application is okay but on which device there are multiple devices are connected to your system now to which device it has to send the commands so that the device can execute these commands on the application okay so this apm server plays a role in identifying the device that has to be connected okay so when the commands comes to the apm server these commands will go to the specific device and it will be executed so what is that specific device and who gives that information is the question right so in the test script itself you will tell you will mention i'm looking for this particular device whose version is 6.0 whose device name is uh, samsung galaxy s7 and whose um, device identification number is a unique identification number you will also give that so that it will find out um, how many devices are connected first there are multiple devices connected so how many devices are actually belongs to samsung galaxy x7 there are two devices and um, what is the version of both the devices both the device uh, versions are 6.0 then then it will take the uid and it will find out uh, which is the unique uh, the id which matches to that device and it will start communicate with that so with this information it will try to find out the unique device where the code has to be executed okay so that is one thing about the apm server it not only execute the commands on a application it also identifies the right device for execution and uh, this apm takes the support of apple instruments something more depth we are going this apm server takes the support of apm instruments so this is this is a tool again so this tool is developed by apple company this tool is developed by 
Apple company. Okay, so actually the commands go to the Apple instrumentation and then it will go to the, the application. In between, there is Apple instruments. So the commands directly not reaches to the application. Between there is a Apple instrument, Apple instruments, and this Apple instruments take those commands and executes on the device. This is about uh, iOS, the architecture of iOS. So far, what we discussed is uh, the architecture of iOS. Now let's talk about uh, the architecture of Android. A very similar to iOS again. The test, is, the test scripts, the test automation code will reach us to the IPM server. And uh, this IPM server, again, execute those commands onto the mobile application. Between, you can see, between IPM server and the, and the mobile application, you can see there is a UI automator and cell Android. Okay. This IPM server internally inbuilt with these tools, UA Automator and Cell Android. If the mobile version that you are requesting, if the mobile version that you are requesting for execution is above the, above the 4.2 version, if it is above the 4.2 version, okay, it will use UA Automator it will use the inbuilt UA Automator tool. And this tool is developed by Android itself. Android itself. If the mobile version is uh, less than 4.2, less than 4.2, then it use another third party tool that is called Cell Android. So that way, that way, Appium is capable to automate any Android device with any version. If you're trying to automate a mobile application that is installed on a device whose version is greater than 4.2, on or above 4.2, it will use UA Automator. If the mobile version is less than 4.2, it use Cell Android. Okay, so in simple words, we can say that um, Appium is a wrapper of uh, UA Automator and Cell Android that is developed by somebody. Instead of you using the UA Automator, directly using the UA Automator for the mobile application that are installed on above 4.2, and instead of uh, using the Cell Android where the mobile versions are below the 4.2, two separate uh, Tools. So this RPM combines these two tools and um, it gives us a, a full-fledged automation tool. So do not uh, much worry about the too much internal of the tool. So what you can remember is the automation commands go to the RPM server and this RPM server invokes those commands on a mobile application install any device. So that much you can understand. And this is something too much internal to the Appium. So if you understand, that's well and good. Otherwise, no issues. It, it's really not a matter. That's about uh, Appium architecture.